dunking, crossing, and passing. These are all important techniques that are entertaining to watch and can change the momentum of the game. However, over the last decade, one has seen a particular increase in popularity and impact on the way the game is played. That is three-point shots. The three-point shot has evolved to be one of the most crucial elements in basketball, since it can alter a game's flow, open up space on the field, and provide teams with a competitive edge. Many players have excelled in this area over the years and have gone on to become some of the best shooters in basketball history. Having a skilled three-point shooter can decide championships, let alone games. So in this video, we'll be getting a closer look at the top 10 three-point shooters in basketball history. 10. Seth Curry you may have recognized him from his last name. Seth is Steph Curry's brother, but that is not the reason why he is included in this list. With a three-point percentage of 44.0%, he has the third highest three-point percentage among players with over 200 threes. Seth had a slow start to his career as he entered the 2013 NBA draft, but was sadly not selected. He established himself as an NBA starter in 2016-17 with the Dallas Mavericks. He has been doing well since then. 9. Larry Bird Bird could shoot deadly projectiles from almost any location on the floor. He is one of only eight members of the coveted 50-40-90 club, having made 50% of his field goals, 40% of his three-pointers, and 90% of his free throws during the 86-87 season and the 87-88 season, respectively. He also led the NBA in free throw percentage for times and went over 40% from behind the arc six times. He was so good that once he scored 47 points in a game using only his left hand, saying, I'm keeping my right hand for the Lakers in reference to the Portland Trail Blazers not being deserving of his dominant side. Even though Larry Bird didn't have a very high three-point shooting, he was among the league's finest shooters when it came to making crucial game-winning baskets. He was the first three-point shooter to win the competition and established a reputation for hitting difficult, off-balance shots, which makes him one of the best NBA shooters ever. 8. J.J. Redick His best three-point shooting season was in 2015-2016, when he averaged 5.6 attempts per game for the Los Angeles Clippers and made an amazing 47.5% on them. Every time he steps on the court, Redick runs a marathon, making him the NBA's perpetual motion machine. There is no certain way to stop Redick as he deftly fades, tilts, and otherwise contorts his body to get shots off in the smallest of windows. J.J. Redick played a supporting role for the first six years of his professional career on a strong Orlando Magic squad that included Dwight Howard and advanced to the NBA Finals in 2009. Although he had a slow start in his first three years, he was able to prove himself and get more playtime. Since then, he has averaged 14.4 points per game and a 41.53 point shooting percentage. Then in year 13, he just managed to average a career high 18.1 points, so one would wonder how good would he have been if he had a coach that saw his full potential early on. 7. Clay Thompson. Clay is beloved by the fans, not just because he is Steph Curry's teammate, but also because he loves three pointers just like him. He and Steph Curry make up the Splash Brothers of the Golden State Warriors in 2018 against the Chicago Bulls. He broke the previous record for most three-pointers made in a game with 14 threes. He won the NBA All-Star three-point competition in 2015-2016, adding to his resume as one of the best. It would be intriguing to see how Thompson performs without a shooter like Curry playing beside him. His statistics might more closely resemble Reggie Miller's if he had a whole offense built around him as the top option and had to deal with the defensive scrutiny that comes with it. Thompson, who is slightly under 42% from three for his career, has the 14th best career percentage in history. His technique is seamless, and his jump shot should be taught in school. It is aesthetic and composed. One of his magical moments is his 37-point third quarter record against the Kings. 6. Steve Nash One of the greatest point guards in history, Steve Nash won back-to-back -back MVP trophies with the Phoenix Suns in 2005 and 2006. His natural impulse as a point guard was to set up his teammates for easy dunks or wide-open shots. It makes his 1685 three-pointers made with a superior 40 to 0.8% three-point percentage all the more astounding. The Phoenix Suns were never champions, losing to some of the greatest teams in history like the Spurs and Lakers.
Steve Nash admitted that he wished he had shot more and had been a little more self-centered during his playing career because he may have ranked first on this list. Nash was famous for being unselfish throughout his career. Perhaps some of it is due to his coach's instructions. An example of that is what Houston Rockets head coach Mike D'Antoni said when asked about why he didn't let him shoot more. Oh, without a doubt, I screwed that up. Nash was a purist. Steve's a Hall of Fame point guard. He was unbelievably good. I just think instead of averaging 15 or 16 points, he could have averaged 30 for us. He was that good of a shooter, and I don't think it would have screwed the team up. So it is only natural to assume if he had been more selfish, he would have ended up higher on this list. 5. Reggie Miller Miller was once regarded as the best shooter of all time by a large portion of the population. Miller, who made 2,563 pointers during his career, was the NBA's all-time leader in three-pointers made before Allen entered the picture. He is third place behind Allen and Curry. He was confident and had a leader's character and that can be seen in his three-point shot attempts. At the time, only 14.5% of the shot attempts were three-pointers. Miller's percentage of threes was 37.1, which is more than double the average. He had many magical moments throughout his career. One that will always stay special for him is when he defeated the New York Knicks with an incredible comeback by scoring eight points in the final 8.9 seconds in one of the most historic games in NBA history, which is simply insane. He has the second highest three points attempts with just below 6,500 attempts, which gives him a three point percentage of 39.5%, which is still good considering the volume of his attempts. During his Hall of Fame speech, Ray Allen said, I know a lot has been said about me being a great shooter, being one of the best, but what I know, this person that is presenting me tonight, Reggie Miller, is the best shooter that I've seen in my life. 4. Steve Kerr In a world where accuracy is the only factor in deciding the outcome of this list, Steve Kerr easily makes it to the top one. Kerr is the all-time NBA leader in career three-point percentage with an undisputed 45.4% and holds two of the five best single-season three-point shooting percentages in league history, 52.4% in the 94-95 season and 51.5% in the 95-96 season. Some do not give him his merit because of his relatively low shot attempts, as he only attempted roughly 1,600 shots. But Kerr has acknowledged that having fewer opportunities in limited minutes increased the pressure on each attempt especially when it came in a crucial postseason situation like so many of his shots did on the way to five NBA championships. But one that stands out most is the open jumper that nailed the 1997 NBA championship in Game 6, assisted by Michael Jordan. On top of being a clutch player, he is very lighthearted and comic. He joked about bailing Michael Jordan out of the uncomfortable situation of taking the last shot during a speech. For Kerr, it's about quality, not quantity. That led to him being the savior in many dead-end situations. 3. Ray Allen From 2011 to 2021, Allen held the record for the most three-pointers made in a career before Curry overtook him. Allen is regarded as one of the best three-point shooters of all time. Spectators would enjoy seeing him take roughly 300 shots across the floor and with varied angles before games. Even though Allen's epic game-tying three-pointer at the conclusion of Game 6 of the 2013 NBA Finals may have seemed wild, it was just a question of muscle memory for him. He had encountered that circumstance countless times previously. Allen was much more than simply a shooter, but it is that talent and the memories it brought that will stick in people's minds the most. His shot is one of those that will appear in instructional YouTube videos for years to come. He was very consistent with his feet, elbow, follow-through, and elevation. His technique was pinpoint. He played in the NBA for 18 years for the Milwaukee Bucks, Seattle Supersonics, Boston Celtics, and Miami Heat, made the All-Star team 10 times, and was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2018. 2. Kyle Korver Ranked 5th in 3-point goals made and 10th in 3-point goal percentage. Korver is one of the NBA's most effective three-point shooters. He is the only player to have for straight seasons, with the best three-point percentage, which is amazing. Over most of his 17-season professional career, Kyle Korver was among the NBA's best swingmen. He shot 536 from outside the arc for the Utah Jazz in 2009-2010, his seventh season in the league, setting an NBA single-season record.
He may have had the finest non-Curry shooting season in history eight years ago, with a 69.9 true shooting percentage and a 49.2% three-point shooting percentage, by converting a three-point shot in his 90th straight game in 2013. Kyle Korver beat Dana Barrow's NBA record. You know he is good when even LeBron James himself praised him. With the Cleveland Cavaliers, he participated into NBA Finals in a row 2017 and 2018, losing both to the Golden State Warriors. The Milwaukee Bucks were his final team with whom he spent the 2019-2020 season. He was employed by the Brooklyn Nets in August 2021 as a player development coach. 1. Steph Curry You have all seen this one coming. Unsurprisingly, Steph Curry tops the list of the best three-point shooters of all time. For those of you who are new to the sport, Steph holds the record of the most three points made of all time with 3,367 at the moment of this video, surpassing Ray Allen's incredible record of 2,973 in late 2021. Not only that, but Steph Curry holds also the record for the fewest games taken to reach 100 made three-pointers in the NBA playoffs which he has done in 28 games. He is also the only player in NBA history to score 50 points and make 10 three-pointers in a single game multiple times. He has done it for times. If you think that is all, you are mistaken. He also made the most three-pointers in an NBA Finals career with 105. Thanks to his incredible technique, Steph Curry has revolutionized the game, making whole teams change their tactics in hopes of minimizing his threats. Not only does he have incredible stats, but he also performs difficult shots that very few would be able to perform, even out of this list. Combining volume and quality, Steph Curry not only qualifies as the best three-point shooter of all time, but also for a spot among the very best of basketball history. In conclusion, the three-point shot has evolved into a fundamental component of basketball, and players who have mastered it have earned legendary status in the game. The top 10 three-point shooters in basketball history are honored in this video along with their contributions to the sport. These players have made a lasting impression on the game, from Ray Allen's clutch shots to Steph Curry's record-breaking exploits, and they have motivated a new generation of basketball players to perfect the three-point shot. There are several aspects that come into play when ranking three-point shooters. Even if you disagree with one or two, there is no doubt that all the players mentioned in this list are worthy of being remembered as one of the best.